Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to make an infinite scrolling background as you see here. You're going to learn how to animate the player so it animates as it goes up and down. You're also going to learn how to make a particle system that moves along with the player as it moves around. You can get the sprites for the player by going to littleguycgi.com. You'll just, uh, on the site, go to Game Visuals by clicking on this link. Scroll down, click on Game Assets. Scroll down and then you can just click on uh, where you see Vehicles and Mechs. Uh, these sprites will be provided to you free of charge. You'll just click on here and uh, you'll be taken to a place where you can download these sprites. Okay, so I'm going to click and then take this check mark away to turn off that grid. Let's add a player character so we have something to fly through this space. I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to go to Sprite. I'm going to change this name to Player. I'm going to click the plus button to the right. Then I'm going to click the plus button to the left. I'm going to go to... desktop. I'm going to select this idle pose here. I'm going to select open. I'm going to name this idle. I'm going to go to the plus button to the right. Click there. I'm going to click the plus button to the left. back to desktop. I'm going to select this moving up. So here we have multiple frames. I'm going to hold control, press A. I'm then going to click open. I'm going to name this up. I'm going to click the plus button to the right, click the plus button to the left. I'm going to uh, this moving down. I have these frames here. I'm going to hold control, press A. Then I'm going to click open. I'm going to change the name to this for change the name to down. We don't want these to loop. These are fine how they are. For the uh, Behaviors, we're going to click on Behaviors. Now we can see this purple line underneath Behaviors. We're going to click this plus button to the right. What we want to select is Top Down Movement. We're going to left click there. And then I'm going to turn off the uh, default controls. I'm also going to turn off Rotate Object. I'm then going to click Apply. Okay, what we're going to do now is click on the player. So I left clicked, highlighted it so it's highlighted blue. I'm going to left click, drag this onto the screen. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to pan the view. I'm going to zoom in. It's pretty big, so I'm going to hold shift, go to this corner square to scale that down like that. Okay, let's click the preview button to see how this looks. So there's our ship. However, since I turned off the default controls, we cannot see any movement from our ship. So I'm going to click this X button to turn off the preview button. So we set up our art in this screen. We set up our programming here. We're going to left click here. We're going to click this event so this is, high, this is highlighted blue. We're going to click the plus button to add a new event and then click this uh, event right here. Okay, so what we want to do here is go to Add Condition, left click on Condition. We want to go to Keyboard. We want to select Key Pressed. And for this, we're going to left click here, then we're going to type in U. Okay, it's going to be capital U. Then P. 
We're going to select up. Then we're going to click OK. OK, what we want to do now is go to Add Action. We want to go to Top Down Movement. Go to Controls. Then we want to press uh, Simulate Up Key Press. So we'll left click there. We want this for the player, so we'll left click on the player. We'll then click OK. Okay, now we want to add another action, so we're going to click on the Add Action. We're going to go to Sprite. We're going to select Animations and Images. We're going to select Change the Animation by Name. We're going to select Player. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to left click. We named the uh, animation for up up so because we named it we need to put that in quotations so I'm gonna hold shift quotation put it uh, up hold shift put in quotation again I'm then gonna click OK okay what we're gonna do now is with this highlighted uh, blue and when I say this I mean this event you can see this uh, these blue blue outline going around the condition as well as the up action we're gonna click this button right here, which is add a new empty event. We're then going to right click, select copy. So I right clicked to select this whole event. We're going to left click on this new event, then right click and then select paste. So now we have this event copied and pasted to this event here. Okay, the reason why we did that was we have this work done here we just need to change the buttons now which is fairly easy to do so I'm going to double click here where we see the up I'm going to change this to down I'm going to hold shift press D so then I'm going to left click on down left click here just to deselect I'm then going to click OK Okay, so now I'm going to double click here where instead of having this say simulate pressing uh, simulate up key press, we're going to select simulate down key press. We're then going to click OK. And then when we have this set up, set animation of player to up, we're going to double click here. And we're going to change this to quotation. down quotation we're then going to click OK okay with all that done let's click preview button and see if this works that looks pretty good okay I click the X button to get out of the preview. Okay, let's make it so our ship can go forward as well as back. So what we'll do is we'll click here, right click, select copy, left click here, right click, select paste. And then we'll right click and then select paste again. So Uh, with this, what we're going to do is we'll set this so that when you press right, so hold shift, press R, put in right, we'll select right, we'll then click OK. Uh, we have this simulate pressing up, we'll double click here, scroll down, we'll select simulate right key press, and then for the animation here, we'll double click here we want to change this to quotation idle hold shift put quotation in we'll then click OK